Hey guys, it's John from Dark Canyon Prospecting. I'm out on the lake today with my four-legged prospecting partner and we have brought some magnets out to the boat docks and I'm gonna show you guys uh, some fun stuff hopefully today. We're gonna see what we can get before their waterways freeze over out here. It's just a little bit after Thanksgiving and normally there's, a, there's already snow here and everything else. To, this is a drought year, so everything's pretty dry and uh, we haven't had much moisture in this part of the country. So we're lucky enough to be able to still be out and doing some fun things and enjoying the uh, the weather. The weather's fairly nice today. It's about 41 degrees. And even though it's a little chilly, we're still gonna get out on the edge of the water and see what we can't pull off of these boat docks with our magnet. Okay, so this is my magnet fishing setup right here. I've got a large milk crate and it houses all of my magnet fishing uh, collection here. I've got a bunch of neodymium magnets, a bunch of different ropes and things. I'm gonna pull this stuff out and show you guys exactly what it is that I have here. I'm consider myself an avid magnet fisherman and I've been using this stuff for a couple of years. Pulled some cool stuff out of the riverways and the waterways in different places across the country. Everything from jewelry to knives to tools. There's all kinds of fun stuff that people lose in the water. And if they don't have a magnet like this, they're not going to get it back unless they go scuba diving or at least jump in the water and get really wet. So uh, I'm going to pull this stuff out and show you guys exactly what I got. So these are the Pelican cases that I got to hold my magnets. <clears throat> I've got a, quite a few of them, and uh, I really enjoy playing with them. But I got at least a hundred bucks invested in these pelican cases, so they're not cheap, but they do protect the magnets, and I'm able to separate them and keep them from sticking to each other. If you get a couple of these puppies stuck together, they are not easy to pull apart with your hands. I actually have to hook one to my bumper, and then put a rope around my waist and use my body weight to pull them apart. So they're they're super strong, but. Uh, you know, there's other things in here. I've got this little grabber tool that I, that I picked up. I remember seeing the ads on these on Facebook back in the day. You can drop it down and pick up stuff. I have yet to use this thing, but I like it. I think it's cool. I just haven't had a, a, a real utilitarian use for it yet. Maybe one of these days I'll drop something down in a crack that I can I can retrieve with it and uh, see if it's actually a useful tool. But other than that, it's, it's kind of cool to have. But, uh, you know, some of the things that I have in here, my earlier magnets that I got were these pocket watch <clears throat> fob looking things here these are nice but they're fairly small and you're limited as to what you can pull out of the rivers i did pull a good a good knife out of the river with one of these puppies early on i, I didn't get it on film but it was a good score and uh, it's something that i would recommend people do if you're just starting out you know get yourself not one of these things get yourself several of them because you're gonna lose one if you're not careful you got to put thread locker on the little pieces that screw into these things so they don't spin off so I got myself some thread juice here to be able to put on my magnets to make sure that they don't come undone while they're under the water if they start spinning or whatever but this is a good way to start out you know these aren't that expensive but when you're ready to upgrade and ready to get some more good stuff out of the waterways there's better ways to go I picked up some of these other ones that are a little bit bigger you can pull more stuff out of the waterways with these puppies here and uh, I like being able to use them you can kind of like literally the orientation of the magnets is different right this one i can hold from a rope and bob up and down close to the docks and stuff and see if i can't pull something up off the bottom this one's more for casting out into the water and seeing what you can drag because when you throw it out it's going to drag like this back towards you and you got at least one side of that magnet that's going to be facing down on the waterway to be able to try to retrieve some stuff So these are some of my big boy toys here. This one, I like it because it's the pocket fob watch style. You can cast it out or whatever, but it's got two different orientations. You can unscrew this and just use it as a fob style, or you can use it as a bobber magnet like this one over here. But I'm kind of disappointed in this one here. It's good and thick. You can see that puppy there. That's a couple inches thick, an inch and three quarters or so, by the way. And it's 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 a good magnet, but it's not as strong as I was hoping it was going to be. And it was not cheap. 
I spent a good amount of money on this magnet. And uh, I got another one over here that's also a good strong one here. I like these guys here. It's a good strong magnet and uh, I can, it's got a good surface area. I can go down and bob down around the docks and stuff. And this thing pulls up a heck of a lot more than these smaller guys over here. You can see for size comparison, the difference. There's one of those pocket watch ones there. And then the same style as this one here, you can see this. I mean, it's literally, we're talking several times bigger for each one of these puppies than the other one there. So, you know, these, these oh boy, got stuck. So that right there, is the difference between some of the stuff that's out there but i'm going to show you guys something a little bit better here that i've been able to acquire recently and i think you should check it out um i'm going to show you guys exactly what comes with it and the value that's really there it's a, it's a good investment if you're going to be doing stuff like this understand what you're getting into understand that there are better quality things out there than other things this looks like a great magnet it looked like a good buy on the internet but i'll tell you what there's other things out there that are better than this if you use this shape of a magnet, you're gonna get more than you can with this because of its strength value. The Gauss rating on this is surprisingly a lot less than this one over here. And I've got one that's even better than this one here. So I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second. So this is the Rogue Magnetics Beast Box that I got. And I got a good deal on it because I was watching Facebook and one of the people that I follow on Facebook had a discount code. And I got to tell you guys, this is probably the best magnet that I have in my collection. I've got more than one, as you saw. But this right here is, is better because of, number one, it comes in a case. This is a great plastic case. It's nice and tough. It protects the magnet, keeps things from getting screwed up around it. I have thread locker in here that comes with it. This rubber stuff is way better than the stuff that's in these Pelican cases. These Pelican cases are great, but they have this foam stuff. And it's not that strong. You got to pull out the individual pieces to be in it, to be able to put stuff in here. And it's it works okay, but this thing is totally protected. It's not going to slide around inside of this thing. The the packaging on this thing is phenomenal. The rope that comes with this thing is super good quality rope. This nylon rope is better than anything else that I have for my for my magnet setup. And this carabiner, this thing is heavy duty. This thing is a nice steel carabiner. It's got the spinning lock on it so you're not going to lose your magnet if you put the thread locker on and you use that type of a carabiner there's no way you're going to lose this magnet unless you get it stuck underwater somewhere but this magnet is by far and above a lot stronger than any of the other magnets that i have this rogue magnetics magnet is that same shape as the other big one that i have that's nice and flat but it is a stronger magnet when you put it down on a steel plate to stand on and try to pull it up, I can pull the other ones up with my strength and my body weight, but I cannot get that off of other things that I've tried to pull it off of. This is a wicked strong magnet, and it says 1,200 pounds on the thing, and I believe every bit of that. The other ones weren't rated that high, and this one is definitely going to be the main go-to for the rest of my magnet fishing stuff that I do around here. I hope they come out with something similar. Um, in the pocket watch fob style because this, to see that kind of a strength of a magnet that's what i was after when i started doing this stuff i wanted something that was nice and big something that could pull in a bicycle something that could pull in a safe or something bigger like that this is right here this is what you guys want to get if you're going to be getting into this stuff you got to get one of these rogue magnetics beast boxes for the money that i spent on this entire setup right here i spent more money on the great big magnet right here that i'm disappointed in from a, from an opposing company i'm not going to trash their name but that was advertised as something that was going to be really good for me, and it just isn't. I like having it because it's it's nice to be able to have several different things when you're out there going around. But this is far superior to everything else that I've run across doing this magnet fishing thing. If you guys are going to do this, get a Rogue Magnetics Beast Box. Do yourself a favor. Pick yourself up one of these things, and you know you, you will not regret it. This is a great setup. The way the rope is attached to itself here, there's a there's a nice little eyelet here. This thing is super strong and super tough. I had to fasten my own thing with my ropes here in order to make it so that it's even similar to that. I did a, I did a figure eight knot on the end of this thing and wrapped it with tape so that I could keep it from, from cutting into the nylon rope that's here. This nylon rope is, is a third of the quality of this one over here. This is so nice and thick and strong. I, I could, you know, I, I wouldn't say go repelling with it, but the carabiner you could definitely go repelling with. This thing is quality. This thing is ready to rock and roll for just about anything you want to do. And again, it, it all comes in one thing. It's got the box. 
It's got the rope, it's got the carabiner, the thread locker. This is the best deal that I've seen online for a magnet if you're gonna go magnet fishing. Rogue Magnetics Beast Box. Be sure and tell them John from Dark Canyon Prospecting sent you if you guys are gonna get one of these things. You will not regret it. So here's our magnet and this is what we got today on <laughs> our dock. We got kind of skunked. I didn't get any cool knives. I didn't even get any fishing gear today. But uh, we got a couple more docks to check out and we're gonna see what else we can pull up out of the uh, out of the lake here with our Rogue Magnetics Beast Box Magnet. This thing is awesome. There's something else I wanna tell you guys about this magnetic fishing thing. If you're gonna be doing this, you need to get yourself a decent pair of these gloves. These were super cheap. And I recommend that everybody go out and find themselves a pair of these gloves if you're gonna be doing some magnet fishing. Sometimes when you pull these things out of the water, there's stuff on there and you wanna clean it off. So you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna scrape off the rocks. These are great, these are got magnetite in them and stuff like that. But sometimes there are some razor sharp pieces of rusted metal and stuff that will accumulate on the bottom of these magnets. And you will slice your finger. I've been cut a couple times I'm speaking from experience on this. Get yourself a nice, decent set of these rubber gloves. Uh, they don't do much for keeping your hands, you know, warm or whatever, but they will definitely breathe. The water will leak out of them, so you don't wind up with a handful of water, and you will keep yourself from cutting your hands open on, with a set of these gloves. So definitely check that out. Get yourself a good magnet. Get yourself a good set of gloves, guys. Words of experience from somebody who's been doing this for a while. My prospecting partner decided to jump in the water today. I tossed the magnet in a few times, and he's starting to get upset about it, so now he's starting to for the magnet. It's too cold for him to be. Oh, I know, I know, it's cold, huh, buddy? I know, let's get excited about it. It's too cold for you to be in there. I know, we're gonna put you back in the truck where it's nice and warm. Puppy dog, he's getting confused today. <laughs> now, this is our last dock here for today. We didn't get totally skunked, but we didn't come up with any treasures, no uh, jewelry or any useful tools or anything like that. But we did pull some trash out of the waterway here. There's a piece of wire here that's attached to some sort of a relay or something off of a boat motor. And then also we pulled one of those little tiny watch batteries out of the water too here next to the dock. So got to feel good about doing that. It's not always about getting treasure and stuff, guys. A lot of the time you're going to go out and do this and you're not going to come home with anything that you can turn into cash money. But, you know, the knife I've pulled out recently and a few of the tools that I've pulled out over the years and stuff, I still use those things. So those are things that are awesome. And you're cleaning up the waterways. You got to feel good about that kind of stuff. My dog and I have a great time going out here doing this stuff. I'm more than happy to show you stuff like this. We do things a little bit differently than other people. Again, Rogue Magnetics, thank you guys for creating a really good, strong quality product that you can buy and actually use and believe in. I've been, I've been duped before on the internet by other companies. You guys are definitely top of the notch uh, when it comes to providing a product that you advertise and um, everything that you say about it is true. It's, it's definitely one of the better products that's out there. Again, if you're going to buy one of these things, don't be afraid to tell them that John from Dark Canyon Prospecting sent you. And until next time, guys, have a great day. We appreciate you watching our channel. Be sure and like, share, subscribe, comment, um, and let us know what you want to see us do next time. We appreciate you. Have a good day.